All right. So can you just talk about what brought you to the University of Michigan originally? Yeah. Um, I had been helping out Jeff Shook, inter interestingly enough. He was the head coach. Uh, I don't remember when he started, but he brought me on in 04, 05 as an assistant coach. And then we co-coached in 2006. Um, he had been taking on more jobs in the youth club, the youth clubs that he worked with. And so he brought me on to help him with U of M, the University of Michigan club team. And uh, I found it to be just an absolutely wonderful job. I, I'm a teacher by trade and I'm also a coach and it kind of combined my love of both of those things and working with high level athletes uh, who are really, really brilliant people and, and uh, intelligent uh, students in the classroom and intelligent soccer players. So it really combined all of that for me into one thing and I did it for 10 years because I loved it. What would you say was your best moment? And if I think about my best moment um, as a team, it probably was um, this year because this year my team was um, undefeated in the regular season, undefeated through the regional, and the regional is the toughest region in the nation, and um, we'd only won the regional twice in 2007 when we had to to get to nationals, and then this year when we didn't need to to get to nationals, but we did because we were so well oiled. So those are my two moments that stand out. Okay. How did um, your time at U of M help you get to where you are today as a coach? The thing about U of M is it's in a very interesting position because it is student. the club team is student-run, so there are students who are vice president and treasurer, uh, president, vice president, treasurer, and they really are ones calling the shots. So I come in there and calling the shots. I come in there and I coach, but I'm not really involved in organizing all of the all of the things about travel. I used to be the one who organized everything, and then we've returned it more to a student-run organization where the students are doing everything. I just show up and coach, but it's a wonderful and unique coaching job because I get to see the peaks and the valleys of guys who are really strong leaders and guys who don't really care to lead. And the team, the success of the team, a lot of times is not as dependent on me as a coach, but on how much buy-in there is from the actual student athletes and how much buy-in there is to, to the student leaders. So it's really cool. It's really an interesting, really an interesting job because I'm at the mercy of, of college kids. They could say, we don't want Hebe Street as coach anymore. Uh, they could do that. They could talk to the athletic department, the rec sports department, and I could be gone, or the coaches could be gone in a moment. Um, but I was able to retain my job for 10 years and loved every moment of it. How do you want to be remembered at U of M? Oh, I want to be remembered at U of M the way I was remembered um, in all of my coaching jobs, and that is not by wins and losses, although that's nice, but, all, but rather by um, what it is the coaching staff what we did to improve players, make them better players, make them love the game, make them or help them continue to love the game. Uh, I think that a lot of the teams, if not all the teams I've been associated with, those players continue playing soccer and continue loving the game, continue contributing to the game. And um, you know, here I am, thirty-seven years into the game of soccer, still contributing and still loving it. And I hope that what we do, what I do, and what I remember for it at Michigan is that is that I love the game and help them to continue loving the game.